Hi everyone, welcome back to Course Step by Step. My name is Anil and in this part of Angular e-commerce project tutorial, we will learn that how we can delete a product from product list. So here you can see that we have a product list and uh, we want to make a functionality to delete the, uh, the product. So what we need to do first of all, there should be an option to delete a product. Like it could be icon, link or button, anything, right? So once we will click on that uh, option, a API will be called. And in this API, we will send the product ID. And that's why this uh, uh, API will able to delete the product from backend. And after that, we will refresh our table and you will find that in fresh data, that product will be deleted. All right. So let's take a look of the points in this video. So first of all, we will test uh, our API with the help of Postman. After that, uh, we will just uh, make a button to, uh, you can say that, uh, delete that product. And then we will call a API uh, on the click of that button and we need to uh, refresh that table also once our API is called and keep in mind that we will just refresh that table not that complete page right so now let's start with the postman so currently you can see that there is a three products right so now let's you want uh, let's we want to delete the third one with the help of postman so that we can test our API so we need the uh, you can say that the ID of uh, that product right so this is the API for product listing. Here you can see that we have a uh, three products like product uh, Samsung, Apple and uh, HP. So ID is also there like one, two and three, right? So we need this ID to delete a product. So what I'm just going to do, I am just opening a new tab there and I'm just putting there a delete method in API. After that, let's just uh, paste that uh, base URL after that we need to pass the id so in case let's say you want to read the hp product last one so let's uh, put there three right and now if we just click over there you will find that the status is uh, 200 and that is also deleted like how we can just get to know that product is deleted you can again try to hit that api and now you can see that there is a two products only second thing you can refresh your page and check there your product is deleted or not yes Third thing, you can check your db.json file. Still, you can see that there is a two products only, right? right? So before just uh, adding up the code, let me add some more products, right? So that uh, mm, we can do some practice with the deleting and all. So uh, this is a dummy image that we will uh, add for adding the product. So let me just click on the add product. And uh, my let's say product name is again HP Laptop 3. Even you can use anyone. I am just uh, filling that because this is the. Uh, it will just save my time to just picking the option from. Uh, uh, you can say that autofill. So, uh, HP product and image is there. So after that, if I am just coming back to the list, you can see that we have uh, three products. Let's try to add one more. Dell laptop. Price is let's say ninety thousand. Laptop color is green. Product and I'm using the same image for a moment, right? And uh, let's get back to the image. You can see that th we have now for four products, and we can just make enough practice for for them. So now the next thing is let's go to the. Uh, you can see that sailor home HTML page right and uh, this is the add not home so this is the sailor uh, home page so I am adding one more th there and the heading is let's say action after that we can add one more TD there and uh, let me add the button option also there button and I can see that delete even if you want then you can add some style even font or some whatever you want to do you can do that but uh, for a moment I am just putting that simple button all right so the next thing is so now let's open this filler home component.ts and we can create a function there which is let's say delete product or something right and uh, after that, I'm just making a console dot one ID. And this ID is coming from the HTML part. The type of that ID will be, let's say number, right? Right. 
so now we can call this function uh, from that delete button so let me just use here click option like this and we can pass the item dot id but now definitely you will get an error like uh, let's understand this error first right property id does not exist in type of product so if you just understand understand that what this error is saying your half problem is already resolved right so what is trying to say that in item id is basically not present name price color category everything is present like image and all but id is not present why because the type it does not exist in type of product so where we define the type of product which is data type dot ts you can see that right so let me define the id also there because see we are getting this id from the api like you can see that there but uh, we just did not define it in the product interface so let me define it and now you will find that this error is gone from there right so now let's try to hit that uh, like we are getting a proper id or not this is the console let me clear this so let's say i'm just clicking on the third product so id should be three there one two four perfect we are getting the id for all products that's great now the next thing is we have to make a service uh, and uh, that service will call that uh, uh, delete api right so now let's go to the product service file right and uh, after that what we can do there we can just simply use their product or you can say that uh, delete product function right delete product function and we will get the id there the type of id is number and uh, now we can return that uh, api so the api will be like uh, this dot http is basically we are using the uh, http client service uh, instance there then delete method and then our url but you will find that we have to just uh, provide that uh, id bit dynamic so we can use there uh, you can say that uh, a back ticks there right and once you will use these uh, let me just zoom it so that you can understand it better so now just simply put their uh, dollar and id there and this is basically template letter and that will perfectly delete our id there is a no or no issue so this will uh, like make url uh, dynamic but we don't we don't need these three so i'm just removing it right so now the id will generate a dynamic url that will be the same kind of like three two and one perfect now the next thing is with that way our api is deleted there is a no issue but uh, once our uh, product is deleted then we must have to show any error right uh, show any message so how we can show a message there so we can define a product message there right and it could be undefined or string perfect and now once our result is perfect uh, there then we will uh, uh, just uh, just push some data inside the, that uh, product message like your product has been deleted and all right so now let's come back and just call this service function uh, this service function from the seller home component so what i'm just going to do this dot product this is our service file name and delete product and id and this is basically uh, uh, you can say that a it will basically uh, observable type so we can just subscribe it and we know that subscribe will basically return a result there right now what we can do there one and you can just want to if you want to just console it you can console otherwise we don't need it we can just directly check that if this is true we can simply put a message inside the this dot product message like uh, product is deleted right and now we can uh, just show this message on html page 
like there p tag and there but we can add some style also we already declared a declare a style for this so let me just open the sailor add page and uh, we added the class there uh, which is uh, yeah class message p right so we can simply use this class now and one more thing once our product is added after that we must have to uh, messages display the message and after some time we have to just remove this message also so for that what we can do there we can simply use here set timeout right 3000 second after 3000 second we can just set this dot product message is undefined and now let's come back to the url uh, on the front page and now i think we are able to delete the product so if there is some issue we will check there yep. so now let's say i just want to delete the product uh, last one product right or let's say product three once i will just and we also need to check that uh, if it is perfectly calling or not so once i'm just clicking over there you can see that product is deleted from there right the result is okay everything is fine but this project is still there because this ui is still not refreshed so how we can yeah one more thing like mess is also not proper there so what we can do for mess is like this right now that will perfectly work fine and if i just refresh this page now you will find that there is a three product only the hp product is deleted dell product is there and two more products are there so how we can refresh this page also at the same time so what we need to do there just come back to the uh, home page there so we have to just call this uh, uh, service api again how we can do that so one way just copy this uh, api and paste it directly there like there right but uh, you can see that there is a duplicacy of code right so what we can do there we can just create a list let's say list function and inside it we just call this uh, uh, we don't need this console also there right so we can just console this list function from there and now this uh, list function can be called in ng on it list last thing is let's call this in our delete product also now if you want then you can format it bit and let's check so if i am just clicking over there uh, first the delete api will be called and then list api will be called right still refreshing okay so just click over there and now you can see that two APIs are called and the page is also refreshed and message was also there, right? That is just removed. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you still have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment box. I'll try to help you out and please support me by subscribe my channel, like this video and share your feedback in comment box.